What happens as you are speaking? Good morning, survivors. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? can be. We can experience impossible joy and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Yeah. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. Oh yeah, definitely. I therefore hope you have many more of those. Aww. For my own safety. <laughs> okay. All right, Alan. Hey there, survivors. Cougar here, back with more Subnautica Below Zero guided gameplay. It is time to head back into the Glacial Basin. That is the last place on that map that we found at Delta Island that we have not explored. The Fire Robotics Center back there where Sam was working. So, we're going to head back in there. Um, am I heading the right way? Mm, not really. Not really. You know what I need? I need the blueprint reactivated. The oh, Excuse me, the beacon reactivated for the emergency supply cache. That'll help me find my way. Okay, there we go. Now we're going the right direction. Northwest. Oh, and we have the afterburner module. <laughs> Yay! All right, as soon as we get over here to the wall. Do I need any food? Nah, I'll leave these. Okie dokie. Mm, yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Brian Wick. Um, I took a wrong turn. Now we're going the right way. Let's see if we can find out more about what Sam was doing back here. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Getting closer. Should start seeing that, ah, little jellies. Aren't you beautimous? Let's make a quick pit stop here and scan one of these gorgeous creatures. Hello. Don't mind me, just getting a scan. Might tickle a little. Aren't you pretty? All right, we found some jellies. We are on the right track. I have loaded up the sea truck storage module with stuff that we could potentially need back in the glacial basin. I didn't do any research or anything on it. I just tried to bring a few of everything. Your giant cable here. Should we investigate this cable a little bit? Aha. So this is an architect cable, so they were powering something big here. Stretching off over that way. And then there is a big antenna over there. I don't know if you can see it. We'll go check it out a little bit closer. Hello, jellies. So we got the sea truck storage module, sea truck fabricator. And let's see what we can find. A dock. A dock, a dock. A dock, a dock. 
Now, Jellies, you stay away from my sea truck, okay? Do not hurt it. In fact, I'm going to do a quick save here, just in case some Jellies come and try to brush up against my sea truck and destroy it while I'm away. Hope that doesn't happen. Oh, good, I needed a first aid kit. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. At Delta... How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. As soon as I leave that steam vent, it'll start jetting off. That's always how it works. Let's just warm up a little bit before we continue on with our exploration. Back here. In fact, you know what? Let's take a quick look. We're not that we're not fully warmed up yet. Let me jump back in the in the truck for a second and we'll look at the map and try to determine where to go to reach Fire Robotics from here. So data bank, uh Baltera maps, facilities map. All right, so we are here. We just pulled up to the dock right there. We're going to have to go back into this area to get to Fire Robotics. So basically directly away from the water. Jellies, you leaving my sea truck alone? Better. All right, so directly this away to get to Fire Robotics. Let's go this way first. Nice little arch there. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire Robotics Center. Oh, good. So it is nearby. We shall find it directly. Ooh, big cave. Okay, we got a beacon marking Fire Robotics now. Terrific. Definitely are going to pick up some fevered peppers to help us keep warm. And these are more Pathfinder markers leading us to a Pathfinder tool that we could scan if we needed it or intended on using it. What, what do you flash in here? Marbled anemone. These are pretty. Aha, that looks like five robotics right over there. Terrific. Super. Man, when the weather is nice, it looks beautiful back here. When you can actually see something and it's not storming or foggy or wintry. Oh, the frozen waterfall looks fantastic. Yes, quite pretty, quite pretty. All right, let's keep an eye on our temperature. We'll leave the Fire Robotics beacon there. It's just a landing pad. There might be some stuff to check out down there. I see something interesting down there, but let's go to the lab first. I want to be keeping an eye out for... Weather approaching. Seek shelter. For um, Snow Fox parts to scan. I haven't really seen any yet. Uh, dangerous weather approaching. Let's get inside. Fire robotics. This is where Sam worked. Okay. Well, then we should check it out. We might find clues here about what happened to her. Battery I'll take. Um, that looks dangerous. Let's see if there's another way up. Oh. Hang on. Walked right past this and didn't scan it. Snow Fox hover pad. 
Awesome. More stuff back here. New blueprint synthesized. That's just another hover pad to scan. Okay. Oh, and I brought the spy pangling. Remember, we already made that. It's out on the sea truck. Loved working here with her spy penguins. Yeah. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Glacial basin map. Okay, terrific. And she has. There's something circled over here with a little hand drawing of a spy penguin. So we're on the other side of the bridge. This is this is the we're over here somewhere, and then we're gonna have to get across this bridge, and then this is a map of the glacial basin back in here. All right. Uh, we already have this spy penguin fragment, and I don't want to pick up the titanium that would result from me picking that up. And another spare battery, PDA. Hey Sam. Fred. Oh hey there, penguin buddy. No fox. <laughs> Hi Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penguins. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait. Are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... Like a Hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> Fred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Jukebox it's hard to get disc. along sometimes, but it's never dull. Uh, another poster, all this stuff. Do we want? Yeah. All right. For the base, you can always bring it over to the sea truck and leave it there. Uh, big water bottle, cool. It will come in handy. In fact, we're already getting a little thirsty. Aquarium, we already have this scan, but that's an important scan. A cold suit fragment. Great. Now we can make a cold suit. New blueprint synthesized. Another PDA. Ah, no voice log here. This is, I think, more of Tom Jobert's writing. The power, that is the power of mindfulness and leadership. Yeah, interesting. Zeta's bed with a, uh, oh, that's like an old school Subnautica life pod on it. Yeah, I think this is going to be my new bed. Replace the one I have already. All right, I think we got all the scans in here and picked up everything in here yeah cool all right uh water purification tablets we have the still suit right now so i don't think we're going to need any of those to make water out of snow this must have been sam's room yeah must have been but something's not right you mean beyond everything being destroyed and completely disheveled Sam's bed. Nice framed art. PDA. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it you can get the large room scan out. here Why if you need it. it. We already have it, but that's we a large room over there. Containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Love? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm going to tell you something. And then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. Mm, nope, not going to promise that. We're nope. researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. 
That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Ooh. Sam seemed a little perturbed. Learning that Altera was researching Kara. And who can blame her? Uh, ooh. Yeah, okay. That was uh, synthetic fiber that we might need. Or fiber mesh, sorry. Fiber mesh, not synthetic fiber. Oh, what, what? My scan icon just flashed. I don't know what on. Mm, this looks safe, right? Duh. More fiber mesh. That's a lot of fiber mesh. How many beds are we going to build? Okay, power cell, charger fragment. If we didn't already get the scan out at Omega. Oh, that's a thermos for putting coffee in. Definitely want this poster. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy Pangling in training. Well, We're recording audio. That girl was popular. Okay? Of She's course. everywhere. I have the photos you sent. Um, Large water. What am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen Leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates, are you well, feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for Fridge. you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Just waiting for Thanks. this to finish. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Okay, just wanted to, for that to finish so we could listen to this one immediately. Hey, guys. I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern. With the frozen leviathan, I investigated and... You I investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Kara mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> Can we play the game now? Fine. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So it's all starting to come together. Clues-wise. Sam found out that they were doing the experiments on the cross. She wasn't happy with it. She happened to bump into uh, Maida. And Maida offered her a potentially violent solution to that problem she signed on she said okay spy penguin hole we could fit a spy penguin down there i left mine on the snow sea truck spy penguins are creating so many new research opportunities they're perfect for exploring tight spaces i can't squeeze into little pockets hiding lots of resources penguins can't carry much but as an added bonus the local fauna seems to generally ignore them my little robot friends are too Penguins, cute to be destroyed oh dear oh please let this last for a minute okay good Whew. okay i think that we have explored all of Phi Robotics, gotten all the stuff we were going to get out of Phi Robotics. I'm going to head back to the sea truck and empty out my inventory a little bit because we were picking up lots of stuff, posters and thermoses and stuff that we're not going to need for a while. And I uh, will trade that stuff for 
a spy pangling and a, a, a wiring kit because I've pinned the Snow Fox hover pad blueprint. And we're going to need two pieces of titanium and a wiring kit, which I'm pretty sure I brought at least one with me, maybe two. They never really explain what these structures are. Are they antennas? They they look like antennas, but who knows? Oh, we got a scan icon. Pouch bulb. Beautiful. All this stuff. I mean, this dev team really has a flair for making beautiful, believable alien flora and fauna, I suppose. Okay. Ah, back home. Picking up a signature of uh -oh. an item belonging Are you? to my people. I will share its location. Very okay. good. Signal location uploaded to PDA. There we go. We have a new signal location and it's back there somewhere in the whatever, in the basin or something. Alright, let's leave some fiber mesh here. We're gonna need those for the cold suit at a certain point. Oh, look at all these extra batteries. I think I'm going to put those in a different space, though. Uh, yeah, all this stuff is not really well organized. Uh, let's put the posters in here. Um, framed art. We'll bring the water bottles with us, even though we're probably not going to need them. There's the spy pangling. And maybe we've got two nutrient food blocks on us now. I may even eat one and pick up another one. Oops, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, we don't need three first aid kits, I don't think. How about two? Nah, just one. Okay, uh, we will need a flare. At least one. I'm just going to bring one. Empty, uh, full. Uh, just uh, take some batteries. Uh, what else? Take a termish. Empty termish. Empty termish. And that's about it. And the, our fevered peppers are getting old now, so I'm just going to eat those up. There'll be more down the road, and we were getting a little hungry. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. Let's head out. Oh, silver wiring kit. Wiring kit. And there's more stuff, I think, in the, the bench in the fabricator module. I don't have a silver here. No silver, really? Huh. I could have sworn I packed some wiring kits. Well, there's silver anyway. Electronics and wiring. You know, that's advanced. Wiring kit. All right, now we can make the Snow Fox hover pad, but we cannot make the Snow Fox yet. We have not learned, fully learned the blueprint. We're at two of three on that. Why don't we go ahead and make the Snow Fox pad here now, ready for Snow Foxing. That is, for some reason, a base exterior module. Even though it has nothing to do with the base, doesn't have to be built anywhere near a base. That's still the category that it's in. Come on. I know you fit here. Great, we have a hover pad. Now all we need is a snow fox. Let's uh, well, let's warm up a bit, and then we'll go looking for our third snow fox fragment and see what else we can find back in there. We're not going across the bridge yet. That The bridge is over there, and we're going to have to deal with that later. Let's fully explore this side of the bridge before heading back in. Unfortunately, I think it's going to start getting dark now. Um, both of these lead the same place. They just take you different ways. Let's go this way for a change. Ah, I missed it. I saw it. I thought, I don't need that. Then I thought, ah, maybe you should grab that. And then by the time I turned around, it was done.
Okay, so this path also leads us back to Fire Robotics. Just via a different route. You know what? I'm hungry enough that I'm just going to eat those. Pick up three more. I'm going to unpin the Snow Fox blueprint. The, that other one. Yeah. More spicy fevered peppers to keep us warm. Very good. So we are up above Fire Robotics. The entrance of the lab is right below us. We're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. Ah, Snow Fox Fragment. Great. Well, we could go back and build the Snow Fox right now, but I think we can continue exploring this area without the Fox. And then we'll rely on the Fox more when we get across the bridge. So that's not a super high priority. Okay, just to get our bearings here, as long as it's warm here in this cave, let's take a quick look at the map. Altera maps, Glacial Basin map. So we started here. No, this is the other side. I'm sorry. This. Okay, so we started here, came back to Fire Robotics here. Now we're kind of back in here-ish. Wow, this map doesn't help that very, very much. Mm, I already have a flare. Oh, shoot, but I do want that in a hot bar. Quick bar slot. Quick slot. Where are you? Probably not going to need the air bladder much back in here. So we'll put the flare there instead. And let's see. I also am going to need the flashlight at some point because it's getting dark soon. And then... Hey, what's back in there? Is that magnetite? Because we need magnetite, and we've been unable to find any so far. And here it is, right at the bottom of this first ladder in the cave, just outside of Fire Robotics. Come on, get in there. Come on. And then there's one more back in there. If you really need that piece and you have a propulsion cannon, you can use it to pull that out of there. But we'll be stumbling across more, I think. And, and we got a, a few out of that, enough to get us going. I think we need magnetite for the next depth upgrade for the sea truck. Maybe. That is silver ore, and I just used up a bunch of silver ore that I brought with me, so why don't I pick up some more of that? And copper I think we'll be okay with. I brought some, and I brought some copper wire, but sure, why not? We can always drop it if we need the room. Um, not that familiar with these areas back in here. I don't spend nearly as much time back here as I do in the swimming portions. Oh, let me just see if I can... Whoa! Okay, we're back where we, where we first went down. Into the cave. Let's, okay, let's, then let's go, well, let's just go a whole other direction and see what we see. Nothing over here. All right, this is where we started. And then we came over. So for finding the magnetite, we're above five robotics. We f climbed up this ladder. We came right over here to this ladder, went down, and then took our first left. Mm, let's go back down since we're getting a little bit cold now. And we'll follow this. We'll take the other exit from this cave.
So we'll go this way to, this time instead of left. And it's a dead end. Dead end, dead end, dead end. All right, well, then this is just going to pop us out where we popped out last time, but we'll go the other direction after popping out this time. Let's go left. <sighs> curious? Are you curious? Me too. Let's go see what's in here. Oh, no, don't want the seat. You know what? I'm going to switch that. We're not going to need the sea glide either. I'm going to put my flare in the sea glide slot instead. Oh, and here's a good place to test out our flares. Hello, big ugly guy. Yeah, you don't like the flare. No, you don't. Oh, it's scary. Oh, scary. Mm -mm. I know you don't like me here. You may have babies here, and I understand your trepidation. I know. Ooh, what's down there? Let's not find out. Okay, nothing super cool in here except some fevered peppers and a hole that drops down into water. And we don't need to go down there, so let's not. Okay, we're done with the flare. Mm, but it's getting dark. Should we continue our explorations? Even in the darkness? Yeah, we got some light sticks and so on. And I got the flashlight. Now, let's just see if there's anything interesting up here. I don't think so. Nope. So, that cave with the hole dropping down into the water... This is the water. Okay, um, so that is basically the only direction to go from here. So I guess we're going that way. And maybe I shouldn't have removed the sea glide. Ah, nice little underwater section to take a break from the running around and freezing our butts off in the cold. Pretty cave. That's nice. I used to like my. Inhabited by extremophilic bacteria, capable of surviving and reproducing in freezing temperatures. That's what gives it the glow. Okay, we are out in a whole nother section now. I'm not even going to try to show you where this is on the map because I don't even think I know. Let's just see what's around here. I mean, one thing I'm seeing out of the corner of my eye a couple of times now are snow fox fragments. So, you know, that one snow fox fragment that we scanned, that, that doesn't, that's not the only one. Obviously, there are more. That's silver. Yeah. Oh, 
this looks different. What's in here? Oh, look at these. You shine a light on them, and they glow. What's that sound? Let's scan the glow fungus. I hear something chirping. We'll go check it out. What you got here? Marking an entrance to a spy pangolin. We haven't used the spy pangolin yet. Let's get him ready. All right, uh, spy pangolin. Let's put you in. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, but let's put you in. I don't know. What was your one? And put your remote in two. And put one. Wee. Ah, so cute. And deploy. Pengbip. Pengbip. His name is Pengbip. Okay. I didn't name him, but whatever. And activate the remote. Ready and waiting. Oh, good. Excellent. Um, now, should we should we get a quick selfie with Robin? No, it's dark. Let's wait till the sun's up. We'll get a selfie with Robin. For now, we're heading in here. What do we got? Court. Court, 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 court. Um, I guess if you needed courts, this would be a place to come and get courts. I don't think we need any courts. Whoa, I tipped. <gasps> Magnetite I'll take. Yup. Wow, and it's, I feel like it's offering me so much courts. I feel like maybe I should take some courts. Is that Magnetite? Magnetite. I don't want your quartz, I want your magnetite. Kind of dark in here, too. Silver. Is this the way we came in? Yeah, that's Robin. Okay. All right. I think we, we saw everything there was in there, right? Quartz, magnetite. We got a couple of magnetite. We, I, we saw some silver. And that's it. Quartz, 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 quartz. Okay. Yep. Okay. We're done. And in fact, I don't know, is, is Spy Penguins, do you have a flash on your photo? Because I want to take a picture. I forget how. The yeah, it's too dark. She struck a pose for us, but we don't have the illumination for this. We'll do it tomorrow. E to exit. Okay. Uh, pick him up. No, pick him. Oh, well, we have to open the stores before you pick them up, remove the magnetite, and now we can pack them up. Okay, and then put my knife back there. Knife and scanner. 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 And let's drink some. Okay, and then, ooh, very dark in here, very dark. Oh, yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have lit all these up, then we could have taken a selfie. Sorry. Uh, more magnetite. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. It's probably all we're, we'll ever need, but grab two more. Nope, not that. And how are we doing on food? Yeah, I'll eat these old ones. Pick up three new. All right. Yeah, and I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We've reached the Glacial Basin. We're back in here exploring stuff. And next, we're going to run back out to the sea truck and make our snow fox and then check out the bridge. Ooh, isn't this pretty? But we'll do all that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the Subnautica Blue Zero guided gameplay. There'll be more coming. Stay safe, survivors.